lady have diarrhea? When baby goats have diarrhea, the first thought is coccidosis. But the vet wants me to take their temperature as well to rule out any kind of bacterial infection. There are other possibilities, such as that we've been taking them out to fresh pasture every day. It could just be that they get a little too much too soon. But we're gonna rule out sickness before we say that that is the cause. Because if it is coccidosis or a bacterial infection, they need to be treated right away. What I'm gonna do for the next little bit is just observe their behavior. I'm gonna look to see if they're acting weak or lethargic, and I'm gonna watch them poop a couple times. How you guys acting? Okay, see, there's some diarrhea right there. Also, okay, there you go. She just pooped. And you can see how dirty her butt is. <laughs> you seem pretty active to me. Oh yeah. Usually Lady and Rose's poop looks like that. Hey, sweetie. How are you feeling? Hey. A goat that is infected with coccidosis will not be eating as well, not be drinking as well, and they're off food and water. The only sign that I'm seeing right now is dark green diarrhea. They're eating, they're drinking, they're playing. So I think it's time to take their temperature. I'm gonna wear gloves because if this is coccidosis, coccidosis can be transferred to humans. Normal goat temperature is 101.5 to 103. So I took her temperature a few different times, about four times. It's averaging around 102.5. though I will need to talk to the vet. I have to say that one of my bigger fears about getting large animals is having to deal with all this stuff. So I'm getting nice and broken in today. Go in. issue is coccidosis you have to treat it now there are herbal treatments out there if you go to fiasco farms website they give you the recommendation for the chemical and standard treatment and they also give you um, an herbal treatment that they use on all their goats I don't have an herbal treatment I also as a first-time goat owner just don't feel comfortable going that route just yet until I just know a little bit more about goats and about my goats in particular you may be wondering, how do they even get this uh, parasite and they get it through feces? It's really common in young goats. From one to four months of age, it's just a very common thing. Most goat farms treat their kids from one month on until they just see really thriving, healthy kids. Adult goats can get coccidosis, but they tend to have built an immunity to it. This is what my vet has told me. These are the things that I have read you may have different information that you have found and read. <laughs> Some people choose to feed their animals with feed that contains medication for coccidosis. We choose not to do that for many reasons, but one of them is that the protozoa can actually build up a resistance because there's not really like a regulated amount in the feed, you don't really know how much your goats are getting. They're getting it all the time. So that actually is a detriment, not only to your herd, but you know, to herds across the world even. Hey, sweetheart. So for now, I don't want you guys down here. The babies may have an illness called coccidosis. 
And if they do, you can get that illness and get very sick too. Until we get it cleared up, we're gonna be extra careful handling the goats, okay? She is obviously very upset about that, but I just feel like until we understand more and until we understand how careful we need to be, how much cleaning we need to do, how much separating of the herd we need to do, I think it's just gonna be me and Arthur down in the barn for now. They're worried about her. They saw her come down and they're wondering why. Where did Gracie go? I know, you guys love Gracie. Look, they're still looking for her. Where did she go, lovey? I just talked to the doctor and he's not certain that it's coccidosis and without a stool sample, you know, we couldn't confirm it completely at this stage. It really could just be too much grass too soon. So we're gonna take them off of um, the, the new pasture for a couple of days and reevaluate on Monday. I am still going to go purchase a few items that I feel like we should have on hand anyway. We're at farm store number one. And you know, it just occurred to me that one of the reasons he may not be super worried about coccidosis is that we just had all of our goats tested. We did fecals and um, CAE, CL, and Yoni's tests on everyone and everyone came back in perfect health. Because but the girls said that we could hold them. Oh really? Mm -hmm. Do you know how, Joyful? No, but, but I know how, that's how they're holding them. Just don't let them fall. They are cute. Oh, it's okay, sweetie. It's okay. Oh my goodness, what have we gotten ourselves into, girls? They're so cute. <laughs> are you wanting to start your own flock? Well, you have enough money. I know. You okay. have to work to make some money to pay for their food. I know, That's I, I would need a little help until they're a little older and then I can pay for all of them. Mom, I just I get a put my hand more. right there, it hurts. Okay. If I put my hand right there. Well, that's called a heat lamp. Look, this boy wants to see. Just unpack it. Mom, can I go up? Will you please get one? Just a minute. <laughs> what is it? It's a chicken. Well, I'm gonna get one. I totally gave in. We got 30 <laughs> baby chicks. They're so pretty. Okay, are you guys so excited? Oh yeah. How many did you get, Grace? 15. How and many? I got two. And Baba got two? And you got two. I got 11. No, you also got two. Oh yeah. <laughs> Let's go tell Dad and Jess. Yeah, wait. Open the door. Okay. Can you open the door for me? Yeah, I gotta put it in park. Open. 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 Just got home with my mother load of baby chicks. <laughs> I actually did tell Arthur. <laughs> I'll tell you what he said when I told him. So I sent him a picture of the chicks and then texted, oops. <laughs> And he wrote, happens to the best of us, an easy mistake to make. Don't worry about it, I'm sure you'll be, do better next time. And then I wrote him back that we were at Tractor Supply at that point, because we got these from a local farm store. And that they wanted ducks. And it's true, they did, but I said no. <laughs> staying strong, staying strong. Hey, guess what? Guess what's in my car? Baby, Baby chickens. <laughs> I'm gonna bring them straight into the house because it's too cold to leave them out here. Go inside and I'll bring them in and show you. Okay, back inside with a better setup. We've always used kiddie pools in the past. It's really one of the perfect little brooders for chickens. It's obviously going to take a lot of effort to teach the kids how to be responsible with the chicks, especially this guy, but it's good. It's good for everyone to learn responsibility and how to handle animals properly. We're just gonna look, okay? We're not gonna touch. We're just gonna look. You wanna look? Yeah, what is that? You can look. I bet we'll hold one for you and let you touch it. I was gonna show you all the stuff I got for the goats, but I think we're gonna end the vlog right here today. Um, I feel like it's been a great day on the homestead and I hope that my goats improve and they don't have coccidosis. And we're gonna hope that our little baby chicks thrive under our care.